scene of this fatal shooting. In your side's Chloe Sparks is joining us live with new information. Chloe, what's the update? Stacy, this is the Holiday Inn Hotel right across the street from USF, the Tampa campus. We just spoke with police officials who tell us that four people were shot here in the parking lot, and one of those people died here on the scene. The other three people are currently at the hospital. Now, police say they received a 911 call to McKinley and Fowler Avenue around 440 this morning. They say that they were told four people were shot. Again, three of them transported to the hospitals, one dead on the scene. They believe that those three other people will survive. Now, they're trying to find out what led up to the shooting. What was the motive? They're looking for video. They're looking for any surveillance cameras outside this hotel or maybe any guests that maybe saw or heard what happened. They're trying to interview any witnesses. We're told they actually are letting people into the hotel right now. They're all actually being escorted by police as this whole entire parking lot is blocked off with crime scene tape. Now we're told that these hotel guests should not feel like their safety is at risk because there are so many police officers out here. But again, they're out here trying to find out how many suspects they're looking for. And then again, to get that suspect or suspects in custody. They said that it seems like those people who were involved in this shooting were coming to this hotel to get a room. It's unclear whether they were staying at this Holiday Inn, but again, four people shot in this parking lot behind me, three of those people injured, and one of them dead. We'll continue to work with police to find out more information this morning and report it back to you here on News Channel 8. Reporting live in Temple Terrace, Chloe Sparks, 8 on your side. Breaking news. Hey, that they were told for... Martian Man TV, everybody welcome. Breaking, latest, exclusive, bad news. I don't like delivering to y'all is uh, rapper, trap music, drill music, artist Julio Fulio uh, allegedly has passed away and left us. Um, 4 a.m. in Tampa, Florida. Um, allegedly, um, he was shot with three other people and Julio Fulio didn't survive. Allegedly, the three other guys that's with him um, are in critical condition but expected to live or survive the situation. Y'all, this is breaking exclusive news. Um, for those that don't know or who just waking up, welcome to Martian Man TV. And um, I'm sorry, y'all, to deliver y'all this bad news. Um, Well, Julio Fulio, um, I had just made a video not too long ago uh, featuring him too when he had got shot. I don't know if this was last year, around the summertime, or if that was earlier this year. Um, he was shot. I, so I made a video about him surviving the shot. And, you know, want him to move differently. Uh, Julio remind me of Kodak Black. You know, as far as, um, not just as far as the music level go, but their energy, they vibe. And um, Julio Fulio, you know, he was a wild one. He was a wild card. So, you know, I saw potential in him besides the music. He want to live his music. You know, everybody want to make their music authentic as possible. Well, the real niggas do. You know, they, they want to make their music. Even if you uh, ain't living right or you living dangerously, we'll say. Or you living off the wall. Authentic, being authentic is everything. You know, you where I come from, you can't talk about nothing that you're not living. You can't stand on nothing you ain't did. Or you ain't experienced. You feel me? Whether you witnessed it. Or whether you experienced this firsthand and you survived it. This part of your testimony. You know what I mean? So, 
is cool to a certain extent, but then it's hella toxic. If you out here bragging about robbing cats and killing your ops and sending locations and dropping locations and or your girlfriend dropped your location, like it's all a recipe for failure to me. I'd rather see Julio Fulio still out here doing his thing. Know what I mean? I spoke up on Kodak. How about that? How about if Julio Fulio and Kodak collaborated and did a couple songs and did an album together? I'd rather see that. Um, and it's this man, 26th birthday, I believe. Julio Fulio just turned 26 and died the day he was conceived, man. Like, that's horrible. Like, that's horrible. For anybody that's listening, that's horrible. You feel me? Like, I won't wish that on nobody. So, rest in peace to Julio Fulio. Condolences and prayers to his family. To um, all his fans. You know, much love and shout out to y'all. All the Fulio fans. And, y'all, this is tragic. I woke up to this like, what? Like, this happened at 4 in the morning, allegedly, in Florida. Like, how we how we losing, you know, our more of our rappers? How? How we losing more of our rappers? And y'all heard it. They was allegedly checking into this little week holiday in. Like, what's going on, man? And then I'm looking at it like that holiday in regular. Like, that's for people like me. If I'm a celebrity or I'm a I'm a known rap artist, why would I be at the Holiday Inn and there all the regulars at? You supposed to be somewhere a little bit more exclusive, in my opinion. Why you at the Holiday Inn? I mean, you bound to run into the hood people, normal nine to five people at the Holiday Inn. I, I'm wondering why famous people is going to do uh, common things if you're not a common person. If you don't got a common lifestyle. So I'm seeing these cats flashing all this money and this jewelry, and it ain't adding up. What was Julio Fulio and his people doing at the Holiday Inn? I'm just trying to make it make sense. If I'm getting 10000 a show, 30000 a show, I got all this money. Y'all actually really think Martian Man finna be at the Holiday Inn? Is you serious? Now I'll be there now. On some regular. Know what I'm talking about? Like, we talking about when I get to that level, y'all. You feel me? When I graduate from the level I'm on now. Y'all think I'm gonna be at the normal Holiday Inn that anybody could go check into? You know, nah, man, all my mentors, nah, my mentors won't want me there. Pac won't want me there. Michael Jackson won't want me there. I can keep going. You know what I mean? None of, none of the people I look up to going to subconsciously be like, especially if I'm a, a drill artist and my lifestyle is I'm bragging about killing people, right? Robbing people, right? Finessing people. Why am I on some local everyday stuff at the Holiday Inn? That's what the first thing. That's the first thing that crossed my mind. Like, why was Fulio even at a Holiday Inn? You just survived a gunshots before. Ain't it kind of easy access for somebody to come get me at the Holiday Inn? Do they got like a special VIP protection? Level there where I could be there and be safe and comfortable? I don't think so. It's the holiday in. So, man, I, this just don't make sense to me, y'all. Y'all forgive me, you know, if I if I come off a little bit insensitive, but it just don't make no sense to me. Why was he at the at the holiday in? Y'all look to the screen at the bottom. That's normal people right there. Shorty on the phone. She normal. She ain't a celebrity. That ain't making good right there. 
There ain't no big Beverly Hills uh, hotel suite, nothing special. Where the celebrities be at? Where's security around? Where you ain't really got to worry about your ops or people getting to you like that? They at the Holiday Inn, man, in Tampa, Florida. I've been to Florida. I got people in Florida. Dade County, Miami. I got family out there. Come on, man, stop it. That's what I mean, man, like, not knocking nobody or nobody financially. But when I went a couple years ago to Miami, my cousin took me to a party that they was throwing at one of the rooms in the Holiday Inn. You feel me? So I didn't expect to go here running into Rick Ross or Luke or, or Trick Daddy or Kodak. You know, I went to Lil Haiti. I went to the Poker Bean Projects. I still didn't expect to see the Zopound or not nobody who famous. You know what I mean? Um, I even went to the uh, a football game. I went to a Dolphins game while I was out there. You know, it, it was just overwhelming for me to be in, in Florida and be exposed to the Florida culture. But I'm just saying, like, dude, we talking about regular people, y'all, doing regular things with regular money, right? Now, once I get to the bag, like bag, 30 Gs, 20, 30 Gs here at a time, y'all honestly really think I'm going to take my money and go spend it at the Holiday Inn? Depending on what status I'm on, and I ain't even no drill rapper. I don't even got ops. I got haters, but I don't even got ops or nothing funny like that going on. Now I mean? I respect the dead, so you're not going to hear me disrespecting nobody who did. You know what I mean? You're not going to hear me glamorize, glamorizing, robbing my people from my people, from my community, from my hood. People that look like me, that look like us. You're not going to hear me glamorizing that. So, and even in, you know, we know things happen and go left. It ain't safe for really nobody. Let's just be brutally honest. So, if I'm a drill rapper and I just survived a gunshots and um, allegedly, y'all, they was like Julio Fulio was going to sue the hospital he was at. Because the nurses dropped the location for his ops to come in there, get at him some more. This all, this all allegedly. But according to Fulio, he was going to sue the hospital he was in last time. So my guess is, I don't know, maybe he was comfortable because he had his other guys with him. Maybe they was heated up, you know what I mean, ready. Maybe they was switched up, ready to go at any time. But maybe they was lacking. You know, y'all, we talk about the lacking. Once again, lacking is when you don't have your heat on you. You could be lacking don't have your heat on you if your ops are, uh, their enemy got the, the ups on you. You don't see it coming. So even if you got your heat on you, you still vulnerable. That's what I be trying to talk about. Ain't nobody invincible. You know what I mean? You're going to have to have that John Wick Kevlar. Suit on, you know what I'm talking about? You're going to have to have that on. And and, and pray you don't get uh, spiked in the head, you know what I'm talking about? Because that'll be the only way you be vulnerable is your head shots. Somebody pop at you on your chest or your, your waist is somewhere and you got that Kevlar suit on, you pretty much good, but... Y'all, how many rappers walking around with bulletproof vests on or a Kevlar John Wick suit? Huh? How many? Little to none. Little to none. Very little to none. So, y'all, this tragic. Um, rest in peace to uh, Julio Fulio. Um, much recovery to his people. Um... Y'all, I don't really, I don't really, y'all be knowing how to 
come at this. I mean, I don't really be knowing how if I come with the stop the violence vibe with y'all or if y'all feel like a lot of this stuff is warranted. You know what I mean? Like Julio Fulio, I'm pretty sure he done hurt some people. He got some enemies. He got ops. So I could say stop the violence, but they feeling some kind of way. Maybe him and his people did something shisty to his people. So they're not going to be feeling that stop the violence. You know what I mean? Not when you in revenge mode. Not when you ain't at peace mentally, emotionally, your own. In your own right. But yeah, y'all, like, I do not like hearing this. So that happened technically on a Sunday if it was four in the morning. Y'all, um, we got to work on uh, solving issues without the switches and the glitches and the gadgets. We got to figure out a way, man, to uh, solve things. Like, man, this man died on his 26th birthday, you know? Condolences to his mama, his daddy, and his family. You know, dude, regardless of what, dude got a family too. So it ain't no win-win situation in this, man. Whether the people that did this situation feel like they they got solace or they got revenge or they he had coming to him his due diligence, this is not a good thing, y'all.